So you two could us here. We're back working on the C4 death cart. Right now it runs and drives, it's all good, but it's still not street legal. And I've been researching and stuff like that and I think I know how to make it street legal. And I also don't like this back end. I didn't know if I was gonna keep it or not. But uh, I did have the new gas tank, I guess new gas tank mounted and the frame realigned or fixed or whatever just to make sure it was squared off. But I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep this. So what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to cut right here along this line on both sides. Pretty much remove this whole thing, this whole fiberglass plastic stuff. Um, see, as you can see, I labeled the wiring for the brake lights, uh, turn signals, all that stuff. I'll re, I, I'm going to label it so I can, I'm going to try not to cut it, stuff like that. Be careful with that. But yeah, cutting this side, removing this whole thing. I'm gonna remove this. Uh, it's aluminum, this is steel, whatever. I'm gonna remove this whole thing that I already bought. I bought this thing for like 400 bucks and I'm, I'm gonna remove it. The whole thing, so it's gonna pre pretty much be the, the side, beams, chassis, frame thingy, and sway bar. I'm gonna see if I can fit a 20 gallon fuel cell right here which see I have to see where the frame is exactly so I can know I can bolt it in if not I'm gonna go with a 15 gallon I want to go with a 20 gallon because I need all the weight in the back because it's already nose heavy yeah I'm gonna do the fuel cell I hope it's 20 gallon what else I'm gonna put uh, brake lights on this thing probably around the halo brake lights which I, I'm not gonna use the OEM for bed brake lights and these are about these two as you can see there's no way to mount them you know correctly or make them look nice uh here use the what's it called uh, light strips like led lights they're like a foot by three inches like 12 by three i'm gonna stick them in there and place with these and that's gonna be the headlights i'm just gonna get rid of those uh what else yeah, for now I'm gonna work on that. I just before I even purchase the the fuel cell, I have to see if it's gonna fit right. Cause I also wanna do the it's called the uh, the roll cage, half a roll cage, I guess. You know, going from the back of the seats around the halo and around the fuel cell, sorta of, just to make it stiffer, you know. But that'll be after the fact. Then anyway. Let's get to it. Well, there is the first cut right there. Man, I should be wearing a mask. This thing's nasty. It looks like it has some thicker areas, and maybe I hit some aluminum right there. I think from this little halo thingy. But anyway, I'm gonna keep working on it and see how far we can get today. Man. Let's see what time it is.
All right, fellas, a few hours later, and here's the result from the progress I've made. Gas tank is out, all the rest of the panels and stuff from the back is out. What else we got? See, I don't know if I'm gonna remove this. I'll probably put it back to the cubbies that go in the back. This, because we got the ABS module right here. Um, which the ABS doesn't work, but I believe the brake lines are still connected to it. So I'm gonna keep that in there. Just so I don't have to fuck with it too much. And let me see. So I think the, what's it called? The fuel cell. 20 gallon is about 24 inches by 19 by 10 inches high. So we'll be looking at maybe somewhere like around this height. 24 inches. Which is, let me see. 24. Like that. And 19. It should be like somewhere right over here. It's hard to visualize because. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna make it work, but let's figure something out. Cause there's really no bracket, no brackets for it unless I put it somewhere on this little metal piece, uh, or I don't know. You guys, let me know what I should do. Cause this is just fiberglass right here. Maybe I'll mine it right here into the, the transmission right here, the differential. As you can see, I probably need to change the gasket on this thing too. Good old Dean the 44. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and order that fucking fuel cell online and find a way to mount it in this thing. I'll probably put some rails right here, some C rails and some type of rail right there just to keep it, make it sturdy. And I guess the roll cage would attach to, I'm thinking like right over here, one of these corners. So we hear something, oh look at that, hear that? Gunshots. Yes sir. That's it for now. I'm gonna have to order that thing, get the parts in and stop messing with it. Alrighty.